everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Crash Course Adulting. I am your host, Natalie Davis, and in this podcast series, we will be exploring the ups and downs of being an adult in today's world. Let's face it, being an adult has so many challenges and can be really overwhelming at times. In many cases, the challenges that we come across in adulthood are not ones that you can learn how to deal with by going to college and taking courses. They require life experience. I feel like in the past year alone, I have faced some pretty intense milestones that I've had to learn how to maneuver through. I hope that we can talk through topics that relate to a lot of us as young adults. I plan on bringing in guests to help me along this journey because I know I'm not an expert on everything and I could definitely use the advice of others uh, that have been farther along in their journey than me. So for today's kickoff, uh, for the first episode, I will be talking about social media. Yeah, I can feel the eye rolls, but just hear me out. Social media harbors an incredible amount of anxiety and stress for many of us. For those of you that denounce Instagram and Facebook completely, not big into the endless abyss of content shared on TikTok, I get it. I don't have a TikTok either. But there is a lot to blame social media for, and I've talked to friends and family about doing social media cleanses, and it's kind of ridiculous thinking about doing a cleanse for something that was created for our entertainment and for building relationships with others. For those of us that grew up with social media, going through middle school and high school glory days, I hope not, uh, with it (laughs) was, um, you know, while it was on the up and up, it was an incredible place for figuring out where you fit in, for social circles and for trying to, you know, get feedback on what others thought of you. So now, where's social media out? It's been transformed. It's a place where people create content and they do advertising and young entrepreneurs use it to launch businesses. So again, why do I want to talk about social media? Well, for these three reasons, one, it can act as a big divider when it comes to hot issues. I have seen countless posts with this phrasing. If you don't agree with this post, please unfollow me. It comes from people that I know are very passionate and convicted in their beliefs, while also coming across as very manipulative and super divisive. It is almost like a bully mentality when you really break it down. Like when you look at it, it's basically saying, I don't want to understand why you have different beliefs or convictions. You're either with us or against us. When I think You know, most of the time with issues like this, it can be more complicated than how things look on the surface. Two, there is a lot of anxiety and depression rooted in the overuse of social media use. I was looking into this and Newsweek published an article a couple days ago about this new term called doom scrolling. So it's not a new concept uh, for people to look for negative news. Uh, I mean, it's kind of obvious negative news sells a lot to major audiences. But doom scrolling is basically feeding into the negativity bias when people are looking and seeking out negative news and are using social media to feed this urge and they're just continuously scrolling looking for, you know, to confirm their fears. Especially right now in an election year in the U.S. where people are feeling more and more empowered to speak out on hot issues going on in our society. I mean, the Black Lives Matter movement and with COVID taking everyone captive in quarantine. I mean, this could not be more evident right now. I'm not going to get into politics, although dealing with politics would be a great episode for the future. So maybe look for that later. Um, But anywho, finally, I know there are more topics to talk about with social media, but to be considerate of our time here, my last point is think about your digital footprint. Social media is known to be used by recruiters and employers, like that is so common sense when looking at candidates that they are considering to represent their company. Keyword, represent. So I don't care if your account is on private, 
it's always important to think twice about what you post online because it will follow you. I promise. (laughs) When I was in college, I had to listen to this workshop about how to use social media responsibly. And what I really took away from it was that you never know if someone is going to screenshot what you put on social media, like on your Snap stories or Instagram stories, and use it one day against you or share it with people that their eyes were not meant to see it. So, I mean, I know it sounds pretty far-fetched for someone to blackmail you like that, but if you are ever going to be considering being in the spotlight, like as a CEO, a writer, a speaker, etc., you better believe that things will come up later. Uh, So just be considerate of that and remember that how you represent yourself online is very important. It is showing people who you are and you got to know that there are some pretty nasty perverts out there and (laughs) I don't know. It's not your job to police them, but it's good to think about that. I think the golden rule is if I wouldn't want my grandparents to see it, I probably shouldn't post it online. All right, so there you have it. Three takeaways about social media use. One, recognize that social media can be a great divider and be cognizant about how you interact on social media and how it portrays yourself. Two, Make sure that you beware of doom scrolling and the negativity bias. And three, remember that you are leaving behind a digital footprint with everything that you post. So do yourself justice and put your best foot forward. Thanks again for joining in for today's episode of Crash Course Adulting. We'll be having new episodes every Tuesday. Please go ahead and like, subscribe, and share this with your friends if you like today's episode. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Peace.